Will you trust that if you leave something for the sake of Allah, that He will replace it with something better? Just as in the story that we saw, and in contemporary stories. You know, there's one story, a true story that happened during our times. There was a young man, and he was very much in love with a young girl. And he wanted to marry her, but he knew the relationship they had outside of marriage was haram. So he actually broke it off. As much as he loved her, he called her and he said, I can't do this because it's a haram relationship, and I'm going to leave it for the sake of Allah. Not because he didn't like her or anything like that. He wanted to marry her, but it was a haram relationship. So then he went on and moved on with his life, and he became active in da'wah and became active with the community and then he moved to another community and he was active with them again and then there was a sister in that community that was extremely active she was well covered in naqab and everything she was teaching the Quran and doing all the activities so he wanted to marry her and he had his mother go see her and his mother came back saying this is an excellent bride for you excellent manners and deen and taqwa and so he went to see her and when she removed the niqab, it was that same girl that he left for the sake of Allah. What happened to her was that when he told her this statement, it affected her. And she wasn't wearing hijab or praying or anything like that. And that statement caused her to pray, to cover properly. And so when he met her later on, he got her in a better state than the beginning. Let's go back to our first story. In the first story, the man was offered 500 gold coins, gold dinars. And he left it and Allah replaced him with 100,000 gold dinars. And in our second story, the young man wouldn't, would have married the girl, but she was not covered, she was not religious, she was not praying. And he left the relationship for the sake of Allah. And Allah gave him the same girl, because even when he left her, he was still hurt and, and you know, always heartbroken and things like that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the same girl that he loved but he gave him her back to him more religious well covered and you know active in da'wah and things like that so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced him something better gave him something better in return let me give you this example suppose now at work they don't let you pray they don't let you go to Jum'ah or they don't let you wear the hijab and so you complain to a millionaire in the community and he takes out his checkbook and his pen and he says you know what quit that job and right now I'm going to take care of you financially Will you trust this guy? He's a rich millionaire. He'll, will you trust that he'll take care of you? And will you go and quit that job? What if then Allah Azawajal, the Lord of the worlds, makes you a promise? Will you trust the promise of Allah Azawajal? But guess what? The promise has already been made in Surah Al-Talaq in the Quran, in verse number two, the end of verse number two. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells you, "وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Whoever fears Allah, Allah will find him a way out. And then in the beginning of the third verse, وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And Allah will provide for him. He will provide for him from where he least expects it. So now the millionaire, when he took his checkbook out, we trusted him. Now Allah is promising you something in the Qur'an, that you fear him and he will find you a way out. And he'll provide for you if that's what you're worried about being, you know, having wealth and provision, Allah will provide from you from where you least expect it. So how will you react then? Will you trust the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the promise that He made for you? You know, there is nothing that you leave for the sake of Allah except that Allah will replace you with better in this life or even in the next. If you now contemplate on many hadith, you will always see that if you stop something, there is another reward coming for you. For example, Nabi Wasallam said, مَنْ تَوَاضَ عَلِ اللَّهِ رَفَعَ Whoever humbles himself for the sake of Allah. Meaning you leave arrogance, you humble yourself, what's the result? What's the replacement? Allah will رَفَعَ Allah will increase you in rank. Whoever suppresses his anger, he will get this reward in the next life. Whoever gives up arguing, the Prophet says, I guarantee him a house in paradise. So anytime you give something up, there is reward. So the question is, do we trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us with something better, replace it with something better? So look at your life right now, and only you can do this for yourself. See what bad habits you have. See if there's something haram that you do, a haram relationship that you have. And just trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you give it up for His sake only, He will replace you with something a lot better.